Zoo School. Welcome to Zoo School where kids are in charge. Hi friends, welcome to Zoo School where kids are in charge today and every day. The animal that we're learning about today is a really cool, amazing animal that actually smells like popcorn. If you're a zoo kid, you already know who I'm talking about. That's binturongs. Binturongs are also called Asian bear cats. They're the coolest animals. And we have some friends, Polly and Miles, who have some fantastic questions for our zookeeper, Matt, who does an amazing job taking care of our binturongs. Hi, my name is Miles, and I have two questions about binturongs. Um, do they um hibernate or do they or and are they friendly or not? Hey Miles, I hear you've got a couple of questions for me about Binturong here. Do they hibernate and are they friendly? Well Poppy here <laughs> can help with both of those of course. Uh, do they hibernate? They do not. They are actually native to Southeast Asia. Uh, they are in a warm climate pretty much year-round. It can get a little chilly or a little wet, but certainly not below freezing. So they do not hibernate. Let me give her a little grape here, which means she doesn't have to eat tons and tons and tons and put on fat and store it so that she can sleep for the winter. And then are they friendly? Well, you can see that Poppy is what we might call tractable. Uh, and what I mean by tractable is She's not innately aggressive towards me. She doesn't seem to want to hurt me. But I wouldn't necessarily call her friendly either. Even though she lives at the zoo, she's a wild animal. And while she doesn't appear to have the desire to hurt anybody, um, and she's fairly docile, that doesn't mean she can't. So, friendly? Not exactly. Trainable? Yes. Matt, thank you so much for that answer. We have another question from Polly. Let's see what he's wondering about Binturongs. Hi, my name's Perry. This is my stuff Sammy Binky. And he's a Binturong, and I'm asking a question about the Binturongs. Do Binturongs hang in the prehensile tails? Thank you, bye! Hey, Polly, that is a fantastic question about the Binturong tail. And I think Poppy here might be able to help answer it. Uh, now, if, you know, you're touching on something really cool. Uh, your question being, can she hang from her tail? Can binturongs hang from the tail? And the short answer to that is sometimes. <laughs> so young binturong, here she's coming around this way, young binturong are light enough that they can fully support themselves and hang from their tail. But as they get to be adults, they're a little too heavy. Poppy here weighs about 40 pounds, so that's a little bit too much uh, weight to hang from. However, for an arboreal animal, it's not just about hanging by the tail and just kind of sitting there hanging. It's about how that tail can protect you. So I'm going to see if I can bring Poppy around. And what I want you to do, Polly, is watch what she does with her tail as she walks down a little structure we have over here. So let's see if we can get Poppy going. Pop. Good girl. Come on around, Pops. So what a binturong will do in the wild is actually have that tail constantly in contact with whatever surface they're climbing around on. And if they slip, if their toes slip, their paws slip, that tail is there to catch them. And so they probably wouldn't fall all the way down. But if you look at her tail, you'll see how it's constantly in contact and see how it hooks a little bit right there. So if she slips, on this piece of wood right here, that tail is going to keep her from continuing to fall and she can regain her balance. So excellent question, Polly. And the end answer is <laughs> sometimes in a young animal, but for the most part they're using it more like an anchor. Something to just hold them steady when they're in a precarious position like she is right now. You can see how she's leaning forward and she's got her tail wrapped to keep herself from slipping further forward. Thank you, Polly and Miles, for your awesome questions about binturongs. I didn't even know some of the things that we learned about today, and I work at the zoo every day. 
So wondering is such an important part of learning. And thank you, Matt, not only for taking such awesome care of our winter rounds, but for answering our questions. If you would like to be featured on an episode of Zoo School, please send in your questions. Any animal that we have on exhibit is a great animal to ask a question about. Thanks for joining today, and we'll see you next time.